welcome to the Not So Traveling Introvert. Today I kind of want to talk about the bait and switch. This is something that I've experienced a couple times um, over the years. And just when I think I know when I'm going to be baited and switched and I kind of have an idea, bam, it happens again. So let me give you an example of what a bait and switch might be. Someone reached out to me on LinkedIn and said, oh, I heard about you through mental health and remote working. I love that your work that you're doing and your values. I'd love to speak with you further because I'm currently writing a book on these things and I want to talk to experts about the different views on mental health, remote working and that sort of a thing. Great. I'm like, here's my email address. Set up some time. And they're like, okay, here's my calendar link. Let's set up some time to talk. And the calendar link actually says interview with coaching expert on blah, 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 blah. And they mentioned, you'll be speaking to one of my members of my team because I'm super busy, but they'll be doing the interview and that's fine. You know, they have my blessing. I'm like, okay. And, you know, I get my two day warning, my day warning, my, um, you know, 10 minute warning. I get on the call and the person admits it's their first day. That is not a problem. So we go through, he asks, he doesn't start recording. Um, we say hello, we talk about general stuff. Then halfway through, he starts recording. He asked me three questions, did not ask any follow-up questions and or any sort of, you know, good interviewer techniques. It was, you know, ask question A, I sort of answer, but not really. And then he doesn't answer, ask any follow-up questions. Now, bearing in mind, they'd blocked off 45 minutes of my time for this interview. This interview consisted of three questions. Then as soon as that was over, t- maybe seven minutes into the call, this person was like, so I'm sure you'd like to know more about Eki's person's work. Would you like me to set up an interview with them? And I'm like, can you tell me more about the book? And so they said, ah, I just started. I don't really know. I know it's something they're really, you know, passionate about and they want to do and they want to p- speak to people like you. If anything comes up from the book, you know, we'll let you know so you can we can quote you and what have you, but would you like to speak to this person about what they want to do? Part of their membership group is blah, 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 blah. I was like, wait a minute. You blocked out 45 minutes of which you barely used seven to speak to me about my expertise. And now you're plugging a membership group to help me grow my business without asking me if that was a problem in the first place. And even, you know, why would I go to you for help? But that's what they did. They baited and switched. They made it look like they wanted my expertise on remote working because I've been doing it before it became hip. Um, but really they wanted me to join their membership group to help grow my business within their business. And it kind of sounded MLL, MLME. Like you pay into it and then we might give you some stuff, but then you have to get other people. Well, that's how we get people. I don't, I don't know. So this was the bait and switch but apparently they're fully aligned with my values and et cetera, et cetera. And would I like to set up some time to talk with boss person or actually boss person's lead team, because obviously I'm not talking to her. So part of me wants to say no, but I'm going into this year with a, um, open curiosity and discovery. This is my theme for this year is year of discovery. So what I want to do is go to the next section and see what this call will bring. What is their membership? How much it is? Because nowhere on any websites that I have looked at has pricing, which is something that maybe I should talk about in the next episode. And what is it they're expecting from me? And no, they did not make me sign anything for their book. So far, there's been no contract because I asked the question, have they done something like this before? Because I have, and I don't think you're doing it right. Um, Not really, didn't get a straight answer on that. It was more like, I know they're very passionate about it, but it's my first, like I only started with them last week. So I don't really know. This poor kid, I don't know, has had any onboarding, um, is that knows anything about the company culture or knows anything about the project that he is currently working on. So that's really interesting. Um, So yes, if you have been the subject to a bait and switch. I would love to hear about it. Please email me at Janice at the I'd love to know what happened, what you did. I will not mention companies or organizations, but please be aware that this happens and it is 
it gives people a bad name. Thanks for listening. This is Janice at the